California. And Jessica, the strong gusts also caused some problems in Los Angeles. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't only here in the Bay Area we were, where we were dealing with those gusty conditions, but it was down in L.A. too, where those winds were actually strong enough to take down a big rig and knock it off to the side of the road. Winds exceeded about 70 to 80 miles per hour in L.A., toppling trees, power cables, and of course the semi-truck too. That's a sight to see, and that's a reality for us here with this wind event that's happening, like I said, down into Southern California. California, but for us back here in the Bay Area too, we are still under a wind advisory as we wake up this morning as strong winds move in from the north for just a little bit longer. And what I mean by a little bit longer is within the next couple hours, we'll actually start to see some improvements. The time now is 7 a.m. By the 11 o'clock hour, we start to see a lot of improvements off into the East Bay when it comes to those gusty conditions, but it still kind of holds on tight to the North Bay just a little bit longer. This is what I mean by that. Here's our current wind speeds, or wind gust, I should say. That means the strongest wind we could see within a three minute period or so. 55 mile per hour wind gust near Sonoma. We hold on tight to the 50 mile per hour range near Sonoma and Angwin all the way into the nine o'clock hour. Keep in mind that advisory expires by 11 a.m. So now we're looking past that. Still gusty up in the North Bay, a little bit lighter off into the East Bay. Danville was dealing with some gusty conditions last night, but here we go all the way into the three o'clock hour today extending all the way into the evening hours tonight. That's when it finally starts to die down, which is actually perfect because daytime highs today are going to warm up. We're going to see beautiful conditions out there. Just keep in mind, we are still in that medium to high category, not only today, but as we head into our Saturday and Sunday forecast for our pollen count. So if you are sensitive to allergies like I am, <sighs> take a deep breath, grab a Claritin, hold on tight to that because as we head into this weekend, there's so many fun things to do out there. We're expecting 60s in sunshine. This is the pot of gold right here for our St. Patrick's Day Parade tomorrow. And we're seeing blue skies for the Blue Angels as we head into Saturday and Sunday for Wings Over Solano. It's going to be an amazing opportunity to head out there, get some fresh air, see sunshine in the forecast just ahead of the first day of spring. Also, my Blackhawk unit's going to be up there too. So if you want to go say hi to them, feel free to do so. This is what we're expecting for our daytime highs today. 70s in the forecast for us. Anywhere from Concord all the way over in Antioch, San Francisco too, and all the way down into the Santa Clara Valley where we are waking up to a beautiful picturesque sunrise right now. Gosh, it is such a stunning day, but notice that camera is shaking. It is gusty out there, especially in the higher elevated areas and up in the North Bay throughout those lower valleys. So Napa and Sonoma dealing with gusty conditions this morning. Like I mentioned, that advisory expires around 11 a.m., but we could still see some gusty conditions under the afternoon hours, too. We're going to see sunshine tomorrow, 70s all into early next week for our inland areas. And then partly cloudy skies roll their way back in heading into next week with a little tiny cold front starting to show its colors all the way into our long range models into Wednesday and Thursday. So we might see a splash of showers and 60s returning into the forecast.